In this lesson, we are going to finish shopping cart. What we're gonna do is to make delete and update quantity work. And also when user click on proceed to check out redirect user to sign in page. Let's go to plan. We need to implement after render in the cart screen section. And in the after render, I want to implement the quantity part. Here, if you check the quantity, you will see that there is a static option one. We need to update that based on content stock. Let's get rid of it. And this code is gonna convert item.content stock to an array and use map function on that array to, to convert that to select options. Let's do that. I'm using array and inside that pass item dot content stock and get the keys of this array and then at this point I can use map function to convert each item in this array to options so what I need to check item dot qty with x plus one and here X is the index of array and it's zero based. So when I plus with one, I can compare that with the quantity that already is in this item. If they are equal to each other, I need to render option selected. Let's do that. Option selected and set value to X plus one. X plus one. So the first option when X is zero is gonna be one like this and close option. So the false part, if the selected item for QTY is not equal to the index of this array, I need to render an option and get rid of the selected part. Wrap it inside backtick. Great. So we just implemented option based on number of item in stock. Good. Let's check the result. Here, as you see, content stock is six and you see this. So let's go for updating quantity. If I make it like five, I want to update the subtotal here. Let's go for it. In the after render function, I want to select, select boxes and add change event to them. Document dot get element by class name. And the name of this class is QTY select. I'm going to save this element inside QTY selects. Let's do that. Const QTY selects equal to this. Put a semicolon. QTY selects need to be converted to an array because I am going to add event to all elements inside this object. I'm going to use array from to convert that to an array. Array dot from and pass QTY select here. And I can use for each to work on each item. Let's set the name of each item to QTY select this one. There is no S here. And for each item, I'm going to add event listener QTY select dot add event listener. The type of event is change. When user change an option, what should happen? I use E as a event handler here and then use const item equal to let's get cart items from local storage and then use find on this array and inside find I'm going to select the item that equal to QTY select x dot product equal to QTY select dot id great it's time to add to cart this item add to cart 
this item I'm going to use all properties inside this item but I'm going to change QTY to number you know I'm casting e dot target dot value to number because the value that user selected is an string I need to convert that to number and set that as a QTY and don't forget we need to set the second parameter force update to true great let's go to the add to cart and here there is a force update and if force update is true what I'm gonna do right before set cart item I'm going to check if force update is true re-render cart screen so we need to implement re-render function I'm going to implement that inside util let's go for it open open util.js and here export const re-render and it's an async function that accepts the component that need to be rendered and inside this function what I'm gonna do is to set document dot get element by id main container dot inner html equal to await component dot render and also i need to call after render await component dot after render like this it's the re-render function if you check the index.html you can see that there is a main container here and inside util.js in the re-render function I update main container inner HTML by the render method of components let's go to cart screen and at this point I get rid of R and select this font import re-render from util.js for cart screen itself it says that it was used before it was defined you can get rid of this error because it's not important one like this uh-huh it just removed for the add to cart function inside unchange event we need to update force update to true and inside add to cart function and when the item exists we need to make sure that force update is true and then we can update cart item and the last change is gonna be changing the order of set cart items and re-rendering I'm going to move this one above re-render because first of all I need to update local storage and then re-render it again great let's check the result and when I change it to let's say 5 can you see subtotal is 8 items if I change this one to let's say 6 it's gonna increase and it's updated that's it for updating quantity and it's time to go for delete button when I delete an item I want to remove that item from shopping cart let's go for it it's very similar to QTY select so what I'm gonna do at this point is to define const delete buttons equal to document dot get element by class name the name of class for delete button is delete button change delete buttons to array array dot from delete buttons delete buttons and for each item inside delete button array I'm going to get delete button and inside this and for each delete button let's add event listener for click when user click on a delete button what should happens I'm going to call remove from cart and pass the ID of the product you are going to delete 
I'm setting ID and the reason I just set it to ID because if you check the render function for delete button I just created ID attribute for button and I set it to the ID of item that I want to delete so let's just scroll up and it's time to implement remove from cart right after add to cart define const remove from cart this function accept an id and inside that i need to update local storage by removing this item from cart items i'm going to use this set cart items and the parameter that goes to the set cart items is get cart items without the product that i'm going to delete so it should be get cart items but filter out the item that its product is equal to the id of item i'm gonna delete so after updating this it's time to check the id of deleted product with the id of url parse request url if they are equal to each other I need to redirect user to the cart screen document dot location dot hash equal to cart screen otherwise if they are not equal to each other I just re-render the screen cart screen great to get rid of error what I can do is to click on this lamp and select disable no use before the fine for entire file it just add this line at the very beginning of this file and there shouldn't be any error next to them in the filter method i need to change the condition to if x.product does not equal that id then keep that product otherwise filter it out okay let's test shopping cart i'm going to add a product here and add another product and let's delete this one and then delete this one so it works and as a last part of this lesson we are going to implement proceed to checkout when user click on it we want to redirect the user to the sign in page it's super simple let's implement that in the after render and here just use this command document dot get element by id this time and the id of checkout button is check out dash button and add event listener and the, and add event listener and the type of event is click and inside that i'm using document dot location dot hash equal to slash sign in good let's check the results when i click on proceed to check out i get redirected to sign in but we need to implement that in next lessons okay let's check again what we did in this lesson we have done shopping cart so if users select a product like this user are able to change the number of item in the product and also user can delete items and when refresh it's gonna get deleted that's it for this lesson. Bye-bye.